Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Glenn and Grace's Reviews and Recipes. Today, we are going to be putting together a homemade meatloaf. Very yummy and delicious. First, we're going to start with two pounds of ground beef. You'll want to use ground beef because it has a higher fat content. Um, you don't really want to use ground chuck for the meatloaf, okay? We're going to go ahead and move on to our butter. One tablespoon of butter, two cloves of garlic, and one small diced onion. Then what we're gonna coat the meatloaf with to keep the juices nice and sealed in is two thirds, of, two thirds cups of ketchup, four tablespoons of brown sugar, and two tablespoons of yellow mustard. Then we have our paprika, which is one teaspoon, our two teaspoons of salt, one tablespoon of parsley, one teaspoon of black pepper, two teaspoons of garlic powder, and one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. We have one cup of Italian breadcrumbs, which is used in a binding along with the egg. And we're going to use a half cup of buttermilk in there. Now, they didn't have any buttermilk at the store, so you can actually make buttermilk in about 15 minutes at home. You just go ahead and take uh, preferably a whole milk or even 2% will work. I used a half of a lemon and to get the acidity in there. And then you leave it in there for about 15 minutes. And if you keep it in a nice sealed container, it'll stay up to two weeks. So it's very nice if you need to make it in the pinch because not all stores have buttermilk. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start putting this together in just a few minutes. And I'll see you in a second. Okay, one of the first things we're going to do is we're going to just go ahead and start mixing up our sauce that we're just going to coat it with. So here's our two-thirds ketchup. We're just going to put this in a little bowl. Then we're going to take our brown sugar and put it in there four tablespoons of brown sugar, and then we're going to take our two tablespoons of mustard in there. We just want to let the sugars dissolve a little bit. All you're going to do is just kind of stir this around real good and make sure there's no clumps or anything like that. And while we're doing some of the other stuff, the sugars will go ahead and kind of dissolve and make a nice little sauce to keep those juices in. Now, one of the things I like to do with the meatloaf is I like to go ahead and put half of the half of the meat down and then I go ahead and layer it with some of the sauce. Um, you don't have to do that. This is something I do. Um, but you, and then you, of course you want to do the top of it because that's going to keep the, those beautiful juices in. So just go ahead and press this down and get all those clumps out. You can use a whisk if you have one, but I'm just using this little spatula here. Okay. All right. That's good. And we're going to go ahead and move on to the next step. One second. Okay guys, we're going to go ahead and saute our onions and our garlic. We're going to do this for about two minutes. So we're just going to get this butter and it's just one tablespoon of butter. We're just going to get it in there. Just on a low heat, low to medium. You don't want it too high. We're just doing a, we're just softening the onions and get extracting some of the flavors from the garlic clove and the onion. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and put our one small dice or one small onion diced in there and our garlic clove. Make sure we get it all out. So we've got a little more in here. And we'll be, we're just gonna go ahead and cook this and then we're just gonna set it aside um, until we're ready to put it in a meatloaf. So you don't have to worry about it. Just like the sauce, you just kind of make it and then you just set it to the side for a little bit. One of the things is when we're done putting together the meatloaf, you're going to want to go ahead and put it in a refrigerator covered for about 30 minutes, at least 30 minutes. Uh, 30 minutes, an hour. Uh, it's up to you, I guess, depending on how much time you have, but at least a minimum of 30 minutes. Okay, so again, we're just sweating these onions and this garlic. We're just releasing those wonderful flavors that garlic and onion, onions uh, have in them. Uh, it's pretty much a staple in almost any recipe is to have some garlic and onions. So... We're going to go ahead and sweat these down and then for about two minutes and then we're going to get to the next step. Okay guys, we're going to go ahead and get our mixture started here. So just our seasoning mixture. So we're just going to get a little small dish and put this in there. We got our salt. We have our paprika. Okay. We got to have our parsley. Okay. Our black pepper. And then our garlic powder. Okay. We're just going to make sure we get it all. Get out of there. All right, here we go. And the Worcestershire sauce you get put in just a little second. So you just kind of stir it around a little bit, okay? Here we go. So this is all ready to go. So now we have our onions and our garlic that are sweated. We have our sauce 
and we have our seasoning. So now we're gonna go ahead and get ready to put together the whole meatloaf. Here we go. Okay, when it's close to being all together, we're gonna go ahead and don't forget to add your Worcestershire sauce. And then we're just gonna go ahead and keep incorporating those ingredients. So now we have everything in there. Ooh, we have a little more Worcestershire sauce in there. There we go. Don't wanna miss those last few drops. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and get ready to prepare our loaf, get our pan together, and we'll be all set. Okay guys, welcome back. Here we are, we have the meatloaf, it's all pressed. Now, I'm just gonna be very transparent. One of the things I forgot to do was put the onions in when I was going ahead and putting it all together. I left them on the stove and you know how it is, out of sight, out of mind. So, I re-added the onions in there, I just incorporated, incorporated them into the meatloaf, let it sit in there for a good 30, 30 45 minutes. And now, we're gonna go ahead and put the sauce on. So, here we go, we're just gonna take our brown sugar ketchup and mustard mix and we're just going to put it on the top and again you want to put a pan under this make sure the oven is nice and preheated to 360 okay and then you want to also um leave it uncovered don't don't cover it up okay and definitely don't forget that sheet pan because you know if you have a smaller meatloaf pan you don't want that grease going over into your oven okay and so here we go we're just going to coat that all real nice okay and then you'll be able to see that and then what we're going to do is i like to top it with a little bit of just kind of garnish it with a little bit of italian seasonings and a little bit more parsley just to give it a little a little more color okay just like that all right, here we go, guys. We're going to go ahead and pop it in the oven again for 360 for one hour. Okay, we'll see you when it's done. Okay, guys, here it is. One hour on 360 degrees, and it just looks great. This looks absolutely yummy. Now, the most important thing with this is you want to make sure you let it rest for at least 10 minutes before you cut into it. So don't cut it. Just let it sit there. Give it about 10 minutes. Slice it up, slice it nice and thin or thick, however you want it, and enjoy your meatloaf, guys. I hope you enjoyed the recipe. Please leave a comment below. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.